Welcome on us to Dave number 36. Let's dive in and see the new questions. If your budget is limited or even zero, you have to think your company as a TV news, as a newspaper. What you have to do is to report what you are doing. You have to show what is your company daily steps, daily process. In order to show to the potential customer, to the existing client, uh, what you do. You should use the simple tools available in your hands, your phone, you can uh, write an article, you can work on all the possible and simple way to transfer the message, the purpose of your business, the type of offer, the type of services, the type of product that you have in order to show in order to explain that you are doing that type of work. So consider your company as a TV news of like a newspaper. Just show, just report your daily activity. So even if the budget is limited, you have the possibility or your sales team, your marketing team to use simple tools to increase your visibility increase the possibility that people know about your company so increase the, the possibility they are curious to know more about you and willing to buy from you the first thing you have to say to any potential customer or the existing client is what you do is not who you are or is not that you are the best. They are curious to know what to do. As example, you can say uh, Namaka. We Namaka, we focus to grow the volume of client of our customers, to improve the retention rate of their existing customers and to increase the inquiries volume. In this way, we explain simply what we do, what Namaka can do for them. Then the next step you should do is explain how. In Namaka we say that we use marketing in all the shape and form. We build multi-communication channel in order to transfer the message, the identity of your company to the potential customer to existing clients. So the first thing that you need to explain is what you do and how you do. Then later obviously comes who you are, your reference list, what kind of clients you have. This is also important. But basically, they want to see how you can help them, how you can solve their problem, how you can satisfy their needs. So this is the first thing you should send a message, you should transfer to your potential client and existing customer. And don't forget, that even if they are existing customers, they may not know all your activity, all your services you can provide. You can be in a defense mode, in offense mode. There is no a precise time when you have to act or react. The point is, when I suggest to our customers to use social media, obviously social media is something is all their competitors are using, or most of their competitors are using. So it's a defense mode. What I suggest them to move in the offense mode, how they speak with their customers how they transfer their uh, knowledge, how they send the message to their customer. Even emails, calls, all the type of direct contact that our customer can have with their potential customers. It's something old. It's something that is a common way to do. 
the difference is in the unique characteristics of your business. Even if you are selling bulb, pipes, uh, steering gear, or you are a ship repair, or you build yacht, or you build uh, ribs, anything that you do, and you have a lot of competitors around there. The key point is make you different. The key point is show this capability, show your uniqueness, and be able to build the right message because the customers or the final customers they need to understand the help we provide usually is build the kind of message what is called the USP the unique selling proposition the, the characteristics that differentiate one company to another build the right message and the right channels to transfer this message to the final customer because at the end of the day as I told you what they want to know is how you can help them, how you can satisfy their needs, how you can solve their problems. And when you build what is called the mental availability, means when they have the specific need, your company will jump in their mind. If you build the right process, if you are in front of their eyes often enough to let them understand that you are able to solve the specific problem. Once they need the specific solution, they will think about you and you will be the first contact to find help. Thanks for watching. See you next time. You keep asking, I will reply. And don't forget to subscribe.